Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isita and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my 2020 bookshelf tour. <music> done so many bookshelf tours i've done bookshelf tours as early as 2017 and i used to do two a year i would do one in january and one in september because usually around my birthday i would get new shelves do something different with my bookshelf so i would always kind of redo my bookshelves or reorganize and change things up so i would do two a year now i could just do one a year and if i ever just reorganize things i kind of update you guys in my vlogs i recently did a bookshelf reorganization video completely it was a really fun vlog i also went to target and my sister got animal crossing it was just like a fun day so i'm actually going to link that vlog in the cards right here if you guys want to check that out just some quick faqs i want to get started really quickly because my battery is not completely charged and i know this is going to take a little while to film my bookshelves are from ikea they're called the vitzjo bookshelves they come in black and white i will have the link to them in the description box basically how we got them gold is i spray painted them gold i'm gonna have my playlist of all of the bookshelf tours and vlogs where i've like assembled and like sprayed these bookshelves in the description box i just have a playlist called bookshelves and it has everything there if you go back and watch some of my older vlogs i show you like the process of how my mom sprayed them because my mom did the spraying not me i really really love them i just like how they overall match the aesthetic of my room and how they look at night when i turn off all of my lights and i turn on my fairy lights behind me if you guys have any other questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section and i will go ahead and answer to those for you guys but with that let's go ahead and get into my 2020 bookshelf tour we're gonna go ahead and start off with this top shelf i don't put any books up here i have in the past but i just don't like how cluttered they look so i just keep all of my canvases up here this one was actually on my walls at one point but then i took it off and i just put it up here and i really like the look of it so this first one says let me count the ways i love you the second one says positive things happen to positive people and the last one's absolutely my favorite it says the future is female and i just kind of have those lined up against the shelves i like how they're like that just laid on against the wall instead of like hung up the other things are these two picture frames that i have up here i used to have these on my desk but i don't have any space for them so i just put these up here behind that i just have this one vase that i also used to have on my dresser and i don't have space for anymore my bookshelves are organized by genre so this entire shelf right here is actually all just fantasy fantasy is definitely the genre that i have the most of just because half of the books on my shelves are fantasy so this first shelf here is my sarah J. Mass shelf. I have all of Sarah J. Mass's books that she has published. I actually realized that I'm currently reading this, so that's why that is not up there. But usually this is how I have the shelf kind of looking like. So starting over here, I have Catwoman. I have her new House of Earth and Blood book that I'm currently reading. And then I have a stack of her A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy, as well as her novella A Court of Frost and Starlight, my special edition version of The Throne of Glass. And then next to all of that, I have all of my Throne of Glass books. I have these assassin's blade through kingdom of ash and i just have them in order of plot and then some of the decorations that i have on the shelf is i have this wonder woman funko pop this is her sister i thought she would kind of go well here just because selena is an assassin and it kind of reminded me of those vibes i just rest my polaroid camera here and usually when i'm not filming as well i actually have my vlog camera here you'll find that i have candles like everywhere throughout my bookshelf because i absolutely love candles i have this champagne toast bath and body wear candle going right now and then i I have this elephant book end that's really cute most of the theme of my bookshelf is like white and gold marble and gold just gold and like black and white moving down here i have my harry potter shelf so all the way on the left this is my box set of the original covers of the harry potter series these are in paperback and my youngest sister actually gifted me these a little bit ago for one of my birthdays so thank you to her because i am in love with these books i just love the covers they're so classic and i know there are so many new editions of this series but it's always just nice to have the original set. I would say this shelf has the most of my Funko Pops. I'm just gonna walk you guys through some of my Funko Pops. This Funko Pop right here is Tina from the Fantastic Beasts film franchise. Then I have this figurine of Newt Scamander. This is not the Funko Pop edition. It's just this other brand. I forgot what it was, but I got it from Barnes and Nobles and it looks a little different, which I like because it just like mixes it up so it's not all just Funko Pop. Then I have my Harry Potter 
Bieber Funko Pop. This Funko Pop is low-key messed up because as you can see, his broom is broken off and his glasses broke off. My cousin broke both of those, but I still kept him nonetheless because I like his Quidditch robes and I love the fact that he's holding the switch. Then I have a Funko Pop of Grindelwald. I think this is really, really cool because I also have a Funko Pop of young Albus Dumbledore. So I feel like they go really well together right in front of my Crimes of Grindelwald book. So they just kind of sit there side by side. Um, just finishing off all of my Harry Potter books, I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the screenplay of the play, and then I have all four editions of the Philosopher's Stone, the house edition. I got these in India for really, really cheap, so I just decided to get all four of them, and I really like how they all look. I'm actually a Ravenclaw, but I do like having all of the house editions just because I think they look really nice stacked up together. This mug is one of my favorite mugs ever. This came in the only owl crate box that I got last year and it's basically this like painted mug of a scene from the prisoner of Azkaban as you can see that's Harry Potter in the corner um trying to ward off all of the Dementors and then it has the Whomping Willow Lupin right here the Hogwarts castle and the night bus and I absolutely love how this looks this is the only one of the mugs that I have I know this artist has made like four mugs but I'm missing all of the other ones and I don't know where to get them because I never ordered the other owl crate boxes so if you know where I can find them definitely hit me up in the comments and then of course i have the crimes of grindelwald original screenplay this book is so stunning not only do i love the color of the book under the dust jacket it is so pretty it has this like eiffel tower and i love that it's like elmer green the actual book is really really stunning and i really love this movie if you guys watch my videos you guys know how much i love the crimes of grindelwald next to it i just have this pengo glass jar i usually like to keep my coins in it but as you can see i don't have any coins right now the last thing that i had a little gap here so this is kind of room in the future if i ever get any more like harry potter collectibles or books this shelf is just basically all of my assorted fantasy books and i started off with all of my hardcovers just because i like like the look of how they look all together on top right here i have this mug that's really cute like pink color it's his cup of happy and it's such a cute little vibe kind of matches like the spine of wicked fox i just set that up there trilogy here on the end in between i have a little figurine my mom went to new york and she brought this home so i put this on my shelf and that leaves room for my two holly black books i'm missing the cool prints but i have her second and third book I need to get the cool prints so i can complete this set and then i have Fallen Kingdoms. This stack right here is just a bunch of like shorter hardbacks that kind of looked weird if I just put them all next to these taller hardbacks. I have Carry On and Wayward Sun by Rainbow Rowell, The Wicked Fox, House of Salt and Sorrows, Mirage, A River of Royal Blood, and Three Dark Crowns. Some of these I've read. The shelf starts on the left with the Red Queen trilogy. I have all four books except for the new one that she released. I still haven't read that one. I don't know if I'm going to read it, but I have Princess Tiana Funko Pop and I just put that right in there because her blue dress really matches the spines of the series really well so I really like putting her there. After that I have my three Lee Bardugo books. I have The Language of Thorns, Six of Crows, and Crooked Kingdom, all of which I have not yet read and now it's kind of crazy. And then I have Stephanie Garber's two books, Caraval and Legendary. I have Heartless by Marissa Meyer. That's the only Marissa Meyer book that I like. I have Tomi Adeyemi's books and then I have the Glittering Court trilogy here on the end. This is the final shelf down here. My tripod doesn't go this low so I'm just going to be using my hand so if it's shaky i apologize for that these are for like more of my paperback fantasies and these are just super random so they're all just paperback and some of these are arcs and then randomly i have the dark descent of elizabeth frankenstein since this one has such like a light colored spine i didn't think it would really go with the darker hardbacks on the shelf above so i just kind of have that forward facing because it has such a stunning cover and then randomly i have the school of good and evil series here i'm missing the second book but we just ignore that that the second and then the fifth book the decorations i have are this broken arrow i have these camel book ends that i've had since like the beginning of my bookshelf i got those from z gallery bath and body works cactus blossom candle as well as this scented candle it's like gardenia and this one came in an aisha surprise box now moving on to this left bookshelf a little bit farther and you guys probably don't see as much because it's the one directly in front of my bed so i don't really film on this side as much this top shelf are my contemporary books i managed to fit all all of them on one shelf so I start off with my hardbacks and I organize them a little bit so this first section right here are all of my Muslim contemporary books I like to keep them together just because sometimes I do make 
videos or discussion videos on topics about Muslim representation or I have in the past and I like to just see them all together and they also kind of just like happen to like look good together so I kind of have a mini section of that right there then I have the hate you give and on the come up by Angie Thomas I put those next to my Muslim books because they're my black books so I feel like they, those go really well together and then I just have some random contemporary hardback books I have the to all the boys I've loved before trilogy right there and that's kind of the start of my paperback books and then I have a bunch of just paperback books for the rest in that stack those are mostly arcs of paperback book paperback contemporaries that I keep there and then the rest are just like random contemporaries not really sorted by any specific way at the end I ramblingly have again but better because it didn't really like fit anywhere else this is another candle from Bath and Body Works I hate the smell of this one so I never burn it I just keep it as decoration right here and then I have this little fake cactus succulent plant that I got from Ikea I believe uh, this is also an OG that's been on my shelf for a while. I have this little box. This is from Mauritania and I actually keep all of my bookish pins that I got when I went to Y'all West a couple years back that I got. So I like to keep them in here. I used to actually put pins on my backpack, but they would fall all the time. So I just store those in here and then place that on top of that stack of books the next shelf right here is kind of the start of my classics and my poetry section i'm gonna go through all the knickknacks first and then go through all the books so this first mug right here is a mug that i got for being one of the top readers in middle school they basically like tracked how many times you like how many books you checked out in a year and i ended up being in the top 10 so they gave us these there's this really cool black mug that says today i'm reading and this actually you can write on with chalk i don't usually do that but you can do that and so i like to store all of my bookmarks in here my one and only owl crate box that i got i like to store on my shelf because i really love that owl crate box and it just like has really good memories i low-key want to like start that subscription again and maybe like try out specific boxes this elephant is like a marble elephant that i got from india when i went to india a couple summers ago we went to the marble factory and my sisters and i each got to take home a little elephant super cute so i like keep that there this is another fake plant that was from ikea and then this was a little tin from like a package of cookies that my mom gave me in my Aisha surprise box unboxing i just really like the art on the front and it's really cute so i thought i would just put it there and then this funko pop is one from westworld i literally just got her because she reminded me of cinderella and that's why literally the only reason why i have her so over here is my little poetry collection i have this uh treasury of favorite poems that i got from barnes and nobles it's just this huge massive book with lots of different works of different famous poets it has emily dickinson robert frost the whole nine yards then i have my amanda lovelace women are some kind of magic box set that has her famous trilogy as well as her newest break your glass slippers book that i recently read and there's actually a book that's usually right here next to it it's this poetry collection called letters to the person i was by sona abueli i got this from target the other day and i'm currently reading it so that's why it's not there then i kind of start my little classic section so i have the iliad and the odyssey bind up barnes and nobles edition there and then i have my children's classics here i have my little little woman collection that i'm trying to start i'm trying to collect different editions of little woman so I have my Barnes and Nobles beautiful stunning edition and then I have the movie tie-in edition of the movie that Greta Gerwig directed. But like I really like this one just because it has photos from the movie and it looks exactly like the one that she actually like designed in the real movie so that's really cool. This here is my Puffin and Bloom set. I love these because these covers are absolutely stunning. I'm just going to show you guys the Anne of Green Gables cover because oh my god this is so beautiful and this set comes with little woman Anne of green gables heidi and a little princess so cute like puffin and bloom you need to like make more of these like additions because they're so pretty i have the rest of my classics on this shelf along with some of my adult books so over here i have both of my mildred d taylor books including roll of thunder hear my cry and her most recent book all the days pass all the days to come by mildred d taylor here I have a stack of my Barnes & Noble's Classics Edition. These are the really, really cheap ones that they have in Barnes & Noble's. I have Emma, Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre, and the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass that I read in AP Lang. 
This section of books right here, um, kind of in between, are all books that I had to read for English over the years. Um, these are just some of them. And then I have a little candle on top. This one is a rose and bergamot coconut wa wax blend. And I really like this one. It's from Home Goods. Price tag is still on here. And then I have this like marble skull that I've had again since like the beginning of this bookshelf. In between, I have this parfum bo bottle. I really, really like this. It's from Z Gallery. It's actually a piggy bank, so you can put stuff in it, but it's really hard to get out. I don't really put anything in it this is my adult book section this book is just randomly here it's brand it's uh skyward by brandon sanderson my sister gave it to me recently so i need to find a place for it on my shelves so i just kind of placed it there but down here is like my adult book section so i have found of silence educated becoming daisy jones and the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i actually want to collect all of her books so this is kind of the start of the collection the immortal life of henrietta Lacks, day four and Circe, and then I have I Malala, which is not technically an adult book, but I just kept that there. And then in between, before you go on to the rest of my fantasy shelf, I have this little candle that reminds me of the Night Circus. And if you actually look at it, it's like purple inside. I've never lit it because I got it a couple years back as for decoration. But I wonder if you can still like light a candle even if it's like a couple years old. And this doll back here is a doll that I got from Mauritania like a couple trips back when I was younger. And it is so cute. It has a little like metal stand. And I got it from like a little marketplace boutique. This is like the final shell. This is like my historical fiction section. So I just kind of have those randomly sorted a little bit. This little um, teapot is so cute. I love the color. It's such a bright, fun color and it's from Morocco. Down here, I have my f gather candle from Bath and Body Works. It's literally just like a fall scented candle. I really love it. I have my Greek mythology book, um, this drum from Mauritania, and then this sign that says peace and there's like a lot of room for just expansion so i'm not super worried about like if i get a lot of new books because these bottom two shelves are just really like they have a lot of room for like adding books and stuff thing that i forgot to mention is all around my bookshelves i have these little like fairy lights and they're actually from target i think they were like 15 dollars each so i have two one for each bookshelf and these actually broke for some reason like when i redid my bookshelf tour now when i plug it in i'll show you guys only one side lights up as you can see only one side lights up which is really annoying i don't know what happened there so i might have to get a new one so that is all i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's bookshelf tour i didn't go through every single book on my shelf because that would take forever to film and forever to edit and it would be such a long video but i have done those videos in the past so again if you want to see any of my past bookshelf tours i will have the playlist in the description box you can go check that out and see for yourself every single book that i have on my shelves and you can watch all my book hauls to see any of the new ones that i obtain but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye Aww.